Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, we're out here today looking for a landslide. Say landslide, uh, part of a cliff had fell. Um, we was across the other side of the valley, across there, uh, yesterday I think it was. And uh, we looked over this side of the valley and we noticed that part of this cliff has fallen, has slid, slid away. Yeah, okay guys, so we've got the kettle on. Gonna have a brew in a second. Um, I'm gonna see from a bit better angle there. You can't see how steep that is really, but uh, we're gonna try and get through this saddle here. He was contemplating going up the ridge, the ridge here, but that looks a bit iffy. So we're gonna meander our way up and try and get through that bit of a saddle up the top there. And stay tuned, see what we can do. Alright, so kettle's boiled, sorry about the shadow. Uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, Takeaway coffees, I presume. Right. Oh, look! They came from somewhere as well. A couple of biscuits. Oh, yeah, definitely takeaway coffees. Yep, so uh, I'm gonna have this now and I'll get back to you in a bit. Oh. All the way up there. All right, guys. All right, the guys are just making their way over. We just had a cup of coffee and uh, a bit of old, interesting wood. I don't know what's interesting about it, but very old wood, probably from the mines or whatnot, was you years back. All right, then. Now for the climb. Okay, we've got a little, little bump here, and then it's slightly easy, and then up again. So, let's see how I do it. Just waiting for the guys to catch up now. And, uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll make a move anyway. Oh well, the weather's fine. We had a couple of showers earlier on. Uh, sun's out. A bit cloudy in the sky. Uh, wind is a bit blustery. So like I said, I don't know whether I'm going to get the drones out or not. But uh, just going to take a walk up here, waiting for these guys now. But, uh, get down here. All right, I'm gonna stop filming by here a second now because we've got a there's a slight path here. Uh, I'll try and meander up there somewhere, then up over them rocks there. Ah, oh, just know there's a there's a couple of prickly bushes right, right there. I have to be careful. But this here is just way too steep to climb this part. All right, okay, boys are caught up. So, catch on the next clip. All right, guys, I just noticed this here. Uh, there is a road going across the top of the cliff face there. And I don't know where you can see it there. Not like some kind of wreckage. The car went to come across. I did notice down the bottom there on a rock, uh, an old car radiator fan. The old yellow plastic rotary ones that used to get back in the day. Yeah, I'm sorry about the wind, but uh, I'm gonna try and, uh, try and make it up here now, several goes. Ah, it's just amazing really what what's around it like. Alright, we've got a pathway this way, which is going to take us up along that ridge. Um, with all these thorny hawthorn bushes across the top of that ridge, so we're going to try and get up this way, see how it goes. Alright, keep the camera going for a bit. 
Got the guy's legs in. All right then. Oh man, this is steep. All right, that's my camera level there. Couldn't my camera indicator, that's level. So, try me. How many degrees do you think that is? I don't know. Bit of a leg ache, though, I can tell that much. It's gonna take a bit of navigating, this is. Right, I don't know where, but I go up around that way. Behind that tree there, and that way. I think that's the better route because that way it's a bit steeper, probably a bit of. They're rambling over them rocks. So I'll have a word to the boys now. Put it down there. And we'll make a decision. I think we're going that way. Let's go now look at this land side, he said. Hell of a view though, can't beat that view. Look at that. Fantastic. See you on the next one. <laughs> Yeah, just a bit of banter among the boys here. Uh, Mark there reckons the earth is flat. I don't reckon. He knows the earth is flat, apparently. So, uh, it's up to you people. To, you know, your choice of decision. I'm open minded. I mean, if it's flat, it's flat. If it's a globe, it's a globe. No, I still got to go to work tomorrow. That's it. NASA told me it's round. That's it. Well, I believe it's more globe than flat, but it's up to you guys, you know. If you can change my mind, it's up to you. Anyway, that's how you are there. Sir Edmund Dilby. You know, right, I think this is the only footpath I've been on for a long while. Let's go handles. We're going to jump up on these rocks here now. I'm going to clamber up the top. So, see so how it goes. All right, then. Onwards and upwards. Oh, it's a bit sketchy there, so trying to... Hold my stick and film at the same time. Ah, we get in it, lad. Just want to watch. All right. Watch out for these prickly bushes, boys. You don't know all them prickly bushes. I don't think it's too bad. We'll just jump up around by here now. Up over by there. And get ready for a view on the other side. Right, I'm gonna stop filming here so we can get up here. As soon as we get to the top, I'll start filming. See so if you can see the view. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Well, like I say, we just had to get over that little bit of a leg there. Eh? Step up here. Alright. Nearly up the top, guys. Watch your foot in, watch your foot in. You don't want to go. You don't want to go down there. All right. All right. Oh, phone call, phone call up the top of the mountain on the side of the cliff. Um, Climbing Everest, and there's a phone call going on. What's going on here? Right, okay. See in a couple of seconds, guys. <laughs> Hi guys, just come up the top there. Uh, we're on safe ground here. Quick move down there. Okay, just come up the top. Just on a bit of level ground. And I found the car headrest. How cool is that? A car headrest. Okay. So we're heading up over there, and hopefully that's where the landslide is going to be. So. See you on the next clip. Okay, we're on the move again. Let's cut to the top here. Eh? Try to keep us filming so we can get up here. Eh? level up to my eye level you can see what I can see there you go but before the world up at that what is 
this structure here. Some kind of uh, structure here. Some stone, some stonework. Uh, got some steel down there. Probably some kind of tramway. It's another steel post there. Probably some kind of tramway, I think, where uh, we're going to be mining. Getting all uh, the cliffs. We don't know. Alright, let's turn around. Okay, just going to walk. Just going to walk around there. Walk up there. And I don't know that, as you can see, there is a crash barriers. There is a road at the very top of there. And I do think that road has been closed off. So, see you on the next clip. And we'll have a look at this landslide and see how big it is. When we seen this landslide, we was all the way over the mountain over there, somewhere over there, somewhere, maybe over there, somewhere. And we was looking over this direction, and this looked absolutely massive, this landslide. But now we're up on it, it doesn't look that big. But um, you can see the different colours from where it slid. Oh well, take a closer look. Let's see how it goes. Um, do we go directly in front of it, open it all full again, or should we just go around this way a little bit? Nah, let's be brave. Let's see if I can run faster than a landslide, is it? Alright. Little grooves. Uh, that's just my stick, my walking stick cracking on the rocks here. Actually, now I'm getting closer to it, it does look pretty high. <laughs> that size of them rocks there. Yeah, now I'm getting closer to it. I can see it. Uh, see how big it is. It looks like one of the rocks there. It's totally done. But, here we go. So this, Gee whiz, size of some of them rocks. I suppose it's hard to, hard to see on video, size of these rocks. But there you go. There's water coming there. That might be one of the main causes why it fell, because the water. But I don't know if you can see, just there, centre frame. You can see a crash barrier. There is a road across there. Like I said, it's been closed. Okay, guys. So, we came to see what we wanted to see. It looked a hell of a lot bigger from the other side of the mountain, over the other side of the valley. Still impressive though. Try and get a picture of myself against one of those rocks so you can uh, see how big it is. Uh, if I get a picture I'll put it in the video. Mark there. Ah, look, just a big pile of car wreckage over there. Blinking aura. It's more than I've seen up here. Oh, I've got some fencing. Some metal fencing. And we've got what looks like a van. Oh, I don't know what it is. Ah. Looks like something out of Fallout. Guys, alright, go get down there, take a closer look. Well, thanks for staying this long in the video. And if you are this long in the video, I'd like to give, like to give a shout out to Elvin, one of my people that I uh, assist with, with my job. And he's the only person who've noticed that I had a new pair of boots on. So, cheers Elvin, shout out to you. And uh, I, hope things go, I hope things go well for you in the future. All right then, in the meantime, got an old van, hey hey, look at this, craziness, absolutely crazy. Anybody know what kind of vehicles these are, apart from destroyed, chewed up vehicles? If you do, let me know, that'll be good. Um, 
I tell you what, we go some crazy places sometimes. Like, you know, over here. Wanna steal a vehicle, boys, bring them up here and we'll dump them over the edge of the cliff. And it's craziness, absolute craziness. Well, it came from up there. And as you can see, the moon is out. It's gone through the clouds. But yeah, this is just just craziness. All right, um, I ain't gonna say this is the end of the video because <laughs> I say that all the time and it's probably not. So, see you on the next clip, guys. All right, guys. Guess the car. If anybody knows what it is, let me know. I got an idea where it might be. But all the cars we've seen dumped over here, we've noticed there's no engines in them. So obviously they've been stolen, engines have been taken out. Ah, there's another one there. Anybody know what that is? And Camo is over there. And he's looking at, the, I believe it to be a Land Rover. <laughs> cool but while I was up there I did notice some shiny metallic things stuck on a cliff so I'm gonna look at that next uh, Yogi is up there getting some stills all right I'm just gonna have a walk up there mate see what's happening I'll go around this way all right I'll get back to you when I'm up there Uh, sorry about the wind, there was any wind blowing. I just want to show you on my camera level. <sighs> Pretty steep here. Lungs are burning. There's the regulars from outside, so I'm just going to be here now. Uh, that's camera level. You really can't see how steep it is on, on camera. But I'm right at the foot of this cliff now. I just noticed these metallic objects shining in the sun. Try to get a bit closer and see what they are. If you know what they are, let me know. It's hard to try to climb it and film at the same time. Okay. Yeah, it is uh, pretty iffy because it's all this um, shaly, shaly, slidey stuff. Jagged rocks. But they look like some kind of uh, bracket or something like that. I don't know what they are. I'll just go up there now, quick look. And we'll have a look from here. Oh, this is sketchy, this is, guys. Really sketchy. Alright, I'm just trying to get some foot in somewhere. Alright. Oh, shit. I just put my hand on it, rolled out. Bloody rocks crumbling here. Look around. All right, I ain't going any further than that. I haven't got my climbing gear or anything. But, if you know what those brackets are, they're probably some kind of rock climbing bracket, to be honest. Uh, there's a couple going up there. All the way up. Um, probably abandoned. Oh, there's a few over, over there. Don't know where you can see them. But anyway. Okay, guys. I'm going to try and... Uh, Try and get down. All right, here for me on the way down. I'm going to concentrate. So um, I'll see you on the bottom. All right, my friends. I'm going to call it the end of the video. Not because I want to, it's because I got to. Sorry about the wind. Still hear me. Um, what it is? Stupid me. I forgot to clean out this memory card. So I've only got limited filming left. So um, I'll see you again after this clip. I will see you.